All right, we've got some legs coming at us today. We're gonna to be on a timer. Um, I'll run us through everything that we have going after our warm up. It is day 52. We have eight days left in our um, spring session and um, we'll be hitting 40 seconds of work and 10 seconds uh, to transition. So not a lot of transition time, but um, I wanted to get us through so we could get some um, extra core work at the end. So let's go ahead and walk ourselves out into a downward facing dog. Plant into those hands, really spread your fingertips wide. Foundation is always super important. What's going on with those hands? Your arms, sliding those shoulder blades down. And you know, in your warm up, you just kind of want to get into what's feeling good. You can drop one knee and then the other. If you're not ready for a down dog yet, just stay in your child's pose or maybe hands and knees. And just pedal back and forth here. Like I said, we're gonna be hitting up the legs, so that's what we wanna get prepped and prepared for today. Plant into your left foot, and then lift and lower your right. Uh, too far back. So keep your chest pushed back toward that left leg. Give me one more, and then we'll switch to the other side. Drive that heel down to the ground. Keep sliding those shoulder blades down your spine. Grab deep into that core. Last one, and then go ahead and drop onto your knees for me. And we're gonna bring our right leg out to the side. So lengthen along your back. Try to still bring those elbows to point back at your knees. Take your right leg out, and then you're just going to hinge back on the left toe and then come back up. We'll go about five here. Three. Little stretch through the foot and the leg that's on the ground or the leg that's bent under. And then a stretch to that inner thigh, the leg that's stretched out. Okay, other side. Hinge back five four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and bring your right leg forward so you're in a kneeling lunge position and we'll twist over that right leg, the forward leg. Take 10 here, three, get some rotation through that mid back. Well, first thing in the morning, it's what it is for me right now. I like to make sure my back's ready to go. Generally, your discs are a little more dehydrated in the morning when you first wake up. So movement, twisting is going to get them ready to go. Right along with some water, drinking some water. Okay, we're twisting to the other side. Fall over already. Last one. All right, come on up into a wide forward fold. Just toes spread pretty wide. Reach over those legs. Bend into one knee, then the other. This will get some extra stretch into your inner thighs and movement through those hips. All right, twist to the left, twist to the right. All right, uh, well, I'm walking us through what's coming. You can either do it with me um, or start some marches. You can go straight leg kicks. You can uh, do some hip openers in and out, whatever feels good for you. Or like I said, you can um, hit it up with me. So I'm gonna be holding this uh, 115 for most of the time. We'll see how long I end up with it. And we're gonna start with a lunge, a sliding lunge with a lateral leg extension. So you're gonna drop deep down into your squat, slide that leg back. So we've done that before where we do a sliding lunge, slide it back in. So the key is to keep that supporting leg super still. Then you're gonna come up and laterally extend at the top. Squat back in, slide it back, bring it in, kick to the top. So we'll do 40 seconds on one side, then 40 seconds on the other. Next, we're gonna be doing a kneeling, quad thrust so you'll come down onto your knees you can curl your toes under or uh, sit all the way back on them 
And I'll show you what it's gonna look like. And if it doesn't work for you to be on your knees, um, then I'm just gonna have you come up and hit up a regular plain old squat. So even though we've got a lot of other um, legs going on, we're not doing just plain squat. So uh, you won't overdo it there. All right, so you'll sit back on your heels and a quad, um, actually we won't sit back on our heels, that's coming. The quad thrust is where you just lean back so your, your body's gonna try to stay straight and then you'll come forward. Lean back just as far as you can. You'll feel those quads grab, come back to the start. Then we're gonna do a kneeling thruster. So you sit back, your chest will kind of hinge forward pretty good and then you're gonna come up and pop your glutes at the top. So just like we do, basically it's a kneeling thrust as opposed to when we're in um, a deadlift and you hinge and thrust. So if you would prefer a deadlift, you're welcome to go there. Um, then we're gonna do a squat back. So you squat in, similar to our sliding lunge, but you're gonna just step one leg back, bring it in, then the other leg back, bring it in. So you're never gonna stand up out of your squat it's actually much worse <laughs> to keep everything down. From there, you're gonna come onto your back and we're just gonna get a glute bridge. So I'm gonna try to keep hold of my weight, set it on my thighs, go into a weighted glute bridge for our 40 seconds. And then we're gonna have a supported side plank leg extension. So the goal is to get into the abductors and the glute medius. So if you can support on your hand and knee, but check in with your hip here. So a lot of times I see a shortened uh, stance, right? So knee is still underneath your hip, but you have more of a box type system going on here as opposed to more of a plank elongated straight line. And then we'll go 10 on one side, 10 on the other. If that doesn't work for you, you can try leaning against a wall or just stand and hit that lateral leg extension. The goal is to get in that glute med, like I said, and that abductor. Okay, that's everything. That's all of it. We're gonna go through it three times, get our traditional three rounds through that I like to get, and uh, hopefully we'll be feeling, I'm sure we'll be feeling lots of legs along the way. So grab your weight, and we'll get started with our first set. Ready, set, and go. Squat in, slide back, Step in and then extend tall. As always, check in with the core. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Track your knee with the toe. So the knee that's bending in, sitting into that squat, track it with your toe. Sit, step, kick. You got it. Grab into your oblique on the lifting side. Time. All right, just 10 seconds. Gear up for that second side. Sit into it, kick back, step in, extend. Try to not lean too far as you extend up. Try not to lean away from your kicking leg, but just stand. Already not squatting as deep, I gotta watch it. Step back, slide in, kick it up. Track that knee and toe. Supporting leg is most of the work, time. All right. We're gonna do our quad thrust. So you're gonna start seated on your knees, tuck your tailbone, belly strong, come back up. Don't do a lot of quad focused work. So this is gonna be a fun little, fun little change up. Super small movement can really dial into what it is you're wanting to be grabbing here. So you should feel lots of core right here, back of the range. Your quads should be lit. 
Grab around that core underneath the rib cage. Time. Okay, then we're going to do our kneeling thrusts. Remember, if you'd like, if you prefer, you can stay up uh, and hit a deadlift. Here we go. So here, get that hinge. Chest leans forward pretty far. Find that counterbalance of super contracted core and flexed glutes. Find that little thrust. Hinge, pop. Belly firm. Ten seconds. Time. All right, should be feeling whew, those glutes and hamstrings a little more. Now we're doing our squat to step back. Squat in deep, step back, then in. Try to keep that low range. Pace is up to you. You got it. Remember, line that knee and toe. Check in with your core. Sit back on that heel. Make sure your back is staying nice and tall. We're hinged over those thighs, but you still got that tall chest. Whew. Glute bridge on the ground. Grab through that core and then drive those hips up and down. Keeping your weight with you, totally optional, especially the 15. Doesn't add a lot, but it's enough. Grab a split second at the top of that bridge. Try to find those little spots of tension and flexion. Add into the move. Time. Okay, we're gonna go into that supported side plank. So remember, you wanna try to create your plank, not a box. Here we go. Lift through that leg. Push your hips forward. And you'll be feeling a lot in the supporting side, not just the lifting side. Get it all around, glute day and legs, inner thighs. You can feel it all here supporting. Grab into the core. Three, two, one. Starts easy. Okay, get that set up. Stack shoulders. Push your hips forward. Make sure that you're in that plank position. Second side. Already tired. Embrace the work. Set into it. We want the tough. Stay flexed into the work. Your body's gonna try to find a way to back out of it. You stay in it. Oh, time. Legs barely getting off the ground. Okay, straight into second set. Lunge, slide, lateral extension. Lunge deep. Slide back, step in, extend up. See where you can set deeper into each part of the move. Can you keep flexion, isometric contraction, even while you're moving, and other muscle groups? You feel that oblique grab, 
as you extend the leg. Time. Other side. Squat in, step back, slide in, kick up. Push to that heel. Remember, try not to lean too much. Find that pace that gets you where you want it. Sometimes slower is a little better. Forces you to be under that pressure a little longer. Time. Okay, we're gonna do the quad, kneeling quad thrust. Three, two, belly strong, hinge back, bring it up. Remember, if you're not doing these, you can do a regular squat. I know sometimes pressure on the knees, sitting on the knees, doesn't feel good for everybody. The goal is to push yourself to the point you're tired, you're worked, you're building that momentum, but you could make it back tomorrow. You can get everything you have planned for tomorrow. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, sit it down, and we're gonna get that kneeling thrust. Ready? Hinge forward. Pop up through those glutes. Even as you're hinging down, what can you do to fight gravity? To build the work. Set into it. Hang in there. Haul back, squeeze between shoulder blades. <sighs> Tighten the belly, time. All right, come up. We're gonna have our lunge or our squat backs. Squat in, step back, left and right. <sighs> Try to drop into that squat. How low can you get the legs? Belly strong. Make sure you're not making it a lunge where you're coming up. You've got it. Time. Woo. All right. Lie back. Sit into your glute bridge. Here we go. Make sure that your knees are right on top of the heels at the top of your bridge. Legs is a good muscle group to work. Takes a lot of muscle, a lot of energy. That energy is gonna keep working all day long. So when you build muscle, build big muscle groups, and your metabolism is gonna be working for you all day. Even when you're seated or whatever else. Okay, supported side planks. Oh, hurry. I'm going to start on my second side this time. Think about your side plank positioning, right? Um, in the hand. How you push into that hand is going to help keep the wrist nice and happy. So try to push into your thumb. First finger. Mm. 
trying to watch my hips. My butt wants to head backwards. Watch it, try not to let the body compensate. If you need to try hitting an elbow on the side, you definitely can. If that's better, then go in hand. Your call, it's your body. There's small little tweaks that you may need to make to adjust for your proportions, and that's great. The wonderful thing about all of us, we're each a little different. That second side, whoo, becomes a matter of the mind. Five seconds, barely moving, that's okay, we're still moving. Oh, time, all right. We're gonna go straight into that last set. Lunge slide, lateral extension, squat in, kick back, step in, extend. Good, line the knee and toe. Focus what you're feeling. Last round through, don't leave anything behind. Don't leave knowing you could have given more. All you got. Time. Whew. Here we go. Set in, slide back, forward, extend. Soft knee and that supporting leg as you extend that other heel up. Get that range. It's easy to get sloppy. You're tired. You know you're at the end. This is where more focus, better. Hang in there. Time. Okay. Kneeling quad. Thrust. Tuck in your hips. Wanting to stay super straight. So keep my shoulders, hips, knees. All in a line. It'll be interesting to go back, see if I get further on that first set. Are you pulling evenly with both legs? Time. All right, now we're gonna do our kneeling thrust or your regular deadlift. Three, hinge forward. Don't forget, that's where you get your push back. So our quad, we keep our chest up, pulling back. Now to get into glutes, we gotta lean forward to dial in to that butt, that hinge and push. Notice where you want your work to go. Glutes. Three, two, one. All right. Squat backs, squat and tap. You see how low we can stay, step back, step back. Try to keep your knee behind your toes so they're not extending as close to past that bottom lace on your shoe as possible. Check in, try to keep that back flat. 
six seconds. Time. Woo. All right. Glute bridges. Here we go. Up and down. Keep your focus, lock into that core. Time. All right, side plank, supported side plank, leg extension. Here we go. If you feel like you've got, especially on days where you can tell I'm <laughs> struggling, if you've got lots of energy left, A, great job, but B, let's, uh, let's chat. You've got to find those ways, those days where you take every last little bit of effort to get your final couple reps, your final couple seconds. And uh, as weird as it seems, that's what we're going for. We're not trying to make it easier and easier. Whether it's through pace, range, flexion, there's ways to make it tougher. And that's what we're going for. It's what you've got to find. It's what pushes your fitness level, conditioning, endurance, fat loss, muscle tone, all of it. Health, strength, mobility. Four seconds, three, two, one. All right, hinge those hips back. Find a quick child's pose. Well done, well done. Okay, just real quick. We're going to go through five bird dogs alternating each side, 10 total. So find your flexion through the belly, slide into the back. So before, right now, knees still on the ground, hands still on the ground. I'm already shaking. Part of it's because I've been working. But it's because I'm bringing traction, hands and knees. My back's not sagging, right? I'm not rounding. Find that flexion. Dig in. If there was a strong wind, lift your right arm, left leg and set it down. You wouldn't go over. When you extend, stay flexed. Second time, second side. Can you keep your hips level? Can you keep your back from sagging? This is something I still am working on. It's tough for me to keep my hips level. So when I extend here, hamstring, glute, shoulder blade core, I feel it all. Last time. Time. All right, curl your toes under. Sit back on those toes. Slide into your hands. Just get kind of a push back. And then we're going to bring that right leg straight out and then sit back. So you're not gonna sit all the way on your heel. You're gonna find that position, kind of push your butt back, lean back as the chest comes down, the butt's going back, and you'll get that pull through your inner thigh here, and that's what we're going for. Okay, so now that right leg that's out, pull your toes up, and you're gonna rotate your hands over that right leg, hopefully or as close as you can. We wanna to try to keep the legs straight, toes are up. So this is similar to our hamstring stretch that we do when we're facing forward. 
but now we have this big twist and this leg is back different than it normally is okay slide it back around and we're going to take that right leg and go straight into our pigeon <clears throat> Warmer days are here, I can tell. Sweat is a little ridiculous. That's good, I hope you are staying hydrated so that your body can use its super awesome power of perspiration. It's healthy for many different reasons. It keeps you from overheating, obviously. For me, it's a good indicator whether or not I'm hydrated detoxes. There's something psycholo psychological too, I think about just getting that, that sweat on. Okay, other leg. So we're going to drive that one back. Now bring your left leg out. Sit back. So remember, we're not driving all the way back, just enough to feel that inner thigh stretch. Okay, and then lift your toe on the straight leg. Turn toward that straightened leg. Reach over. Stay there with your stretch. Um, I'm reading a new book that I love. Highly recommend it if you're a reader. It's called Irresistible by Adam Alter. Um, bring your leg around to pigeon. Um, I got it because it was, you know, it was just a perchance book I came upon at the library, and it was about how technology hooks us, right? But there's a whole bunch of other super awesome nuggets in it, and he talks about goals and streaks and things uh, related to fitness. So streaks, which we have done a couple times, uh, we did, I think, about 60 or 70 days. Maybe it was more. Maybe it was over 100 of um, walking or running at least a mile every day. Um, and there's a whole streak club out there or streaks of like the walking club right getting a certain amount of steps every day so he says streaks uncover the major flaws of goal pursuit you spend far more time pursuing the goal than you do enjoying the fruits of your success instead of goals live your life by systems something you do on a regular basis that increases your odds of happiness in the long run so um just a quick little uh, my two cents on that is I think that, especially in fitness, which I consume myself with, okay, come up and uh, come onto your knees. We're just going to push forward. See if you can reach back to your heels so you can stretch those quads. Um, that sometimes when we're in pursuit of a goal, a number um, on the scale or on our watch or in our heart rate, and I do this as well, we do lose sight of just that process, the practice, showing up, and the happiness of ourselves. So there's something that's very, um, that's very, I don't know, uh, alluring about the idea of just pursuing systems um, that increase our happiness and our quality of life. Um, so anyway, just take that for what it's worth. The book is irresistible. Um, and it's a good, it's a good little read. It makes you think, why am I doing this? What am I here for? What is my ultimate hope? Because if you have a goal, the idea is once that you catch that goal and you obtain it, then you just have to set another one and then another one and then another one. So I think systems are similar, but yet we focus more on just living the daily life. And sometimes there's going to be things that get in the way. But if we can come back to that routine, that rhythm, that system that keeps us happy and healthy, um, then then it's a good progression. So anyway, there you are. I'll leave you with that little nugget and enjoy how those legs feel tomorrow. <laughs>